ballistics, or the study of the flight characteristics of a projectile, was originally done in a classroom using real rifles, not something your current administration would be ecstatic about today. Paul Klopstek thought this was dangerous as well, and with the help of several Senko employees, he developed the ballistic pendulum. Much in the same way one would calculate the muzzle velocity of a rifle, this experiment allows students to calculate the initial velocity of the ball using principles of energy and momentum conservation. We know that once the ball collides with the pendulum, momentum is conserved. And after the pendulum arm catches at the highest point of the pendulum arc, the initial kinetic energy equals the final potential energy. This device also works well as a two-dimensional projectile launcher. Simply remove the pendulum arm and the catch and place carbon copy paper or a pan of sand in the approximate landing location of the ball. This may require test firing the device first to determine approximate distance. As with any projectile demonstration, exercise caution and make sure the area is clear before launching the projectile. Then, using simple projectile motion equations, student can calculate the initial velocity of the ball using the release height and range of the ball. This device also works as a Richard Arden pendulum demonstration. A few special features make this apparatus a class above the rest. The apparatus is heavy, machined out of aluminum, and designed to last long after you retire. Due to its heavy construction, the apparatus will not wobble during firing, making readings accurate and reliable. Safely allow your students to study ballistics along with Newton's second law of motion, force equals mass times acceleration, demonstrating conservation of momentum and conservation of energy with this fun, versatile, and easy-to-use tool in the classroom. Instructions are included.